horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hal Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Oh, Silver! Let's go, big Oh, Silver! Oh! On the broad top of Medicine Butte, high above the volcanic wilderness of Arizona Territory, a resplendent yet terrifying tableau was taking place. Hundreds of Apache braves crouched in a circle around a huge blazing fire. Their voices droned monotonously in a ceremonial chant as they watched two figures standing beside the fire. Chief Red Fox gazed sternly at Pyroma, the medicine man, then raised his hand and shouted for silence. Noma! Manoma! Pyroma, for many moon you make medicine for Apache. Uh, you gave solemn promise that white men never come to highlands of Apache. Uh, I made that promise. Today, our braves find white devil on mountain trail. Your medicine... Not good. Have the Braves and their mighty chief, Red Fox, lost faith in Pyroma? Then I will again offer proof, as I have done many times before. Let my magic robe and the sacred moccasins be brought from my teepee. Uh, Kaget! Uh, I bring big medicine to Pyroma. Good. And as I place the robe around my shoulders and the moccasins upon my feet, let the fire be raised to even greater heat. Kishigokwe, Chabonda! That is good. The of coal shines brightly, like the gleaming red eyes of a million devils. The flames are leaping tongues of destruction to all but Pyroma. First a prayer to the mighty fire god. Oh, Nadakomu. Oh, Sinaota. Sumaum Danaoka. Now Paroma walks into the fire. There, I emerge unharmed. Is that not proof that I... And only I am favored by the fire god. Pyroma speaks words of truth. His medicine is big. I, Chief Red Fox, proclaim it. (laughs) To a 
just before sundown on the following afternoon, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, on a trail not far from Medicine Butte, reined their horses to a halt. Oh, 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 oh. Why you stop here, Kimasabi? A flock of buzzards circling overhead. They're pretty low. Look, Tonto. Said he would come. Dead man. With an arrow through his back. Ah, and that Apache arrow. That poor old fellow. He probably never knew what hit him. They're not far from Medicine Butte, Tonto. It's dangerous country for a man to travel alone. Clothes look like maybe him prospector. Yes, and he's been dead for several hours. No way of telling who he is unless... Uh, wait a minute. I'll go through his pockets. You find paper? Yes, it's a letter addressed to Dr. John Moffat, Merrittville, Arizona Territory. That's no help, but there might be a signature inside. Hmm. What letter say? Not much. I'll read it. Says, Dear Doc, I found the kid's mining claim, but you're loco if you think there's any gold out here. There's nothing but a lot of gray stones and Apache engines. I'll send this ahead by mail and take my time coming home with the mule. Signed, your brother Ben. Yeah. Apache kill him. Maybe steal mule. Yes. At least we know his name. The name of one of his relatives. How far is Merrittville from here, Toto? Ride one day, one night. That's too far to carry a dead man. We'll bury him here and then ride to Merrittville and deliver his letter. Nobody here? Well, that's strange. There's generally someone at a doctor's There's house. There's somebody to... here, mister. The window is open. I'm sitting in a chair with a shotgun coming both you gun hawks. This time you won't get inside the house. Is this the home of Dr. Moffat? You know blame well it is. And I know who you are. Part of Trick Coleman's owl hoot gang. We're not outlaws. I have a letter to deliver to Dr. John Moffat. Is he here? Line won't get you anywhere, mister. If you got anything for Doc, lay down the port, send Vamoose. All right. I think Dr. Moffat will be anxious to get this letter. It's from his brother. From... You mean from Uncle Ben? Well, that's the way it's signed. Where did... I mean, how'd you get a letter from Uncle Ben? If you'll put down that gun, I'll tell you about it. What? All right. I'll turn up the lamp and you can come in the house. But remember, I'll have you both covered. Come on, Toto. Just a minute, I'll light the lamp. Why, you're wearing a mask. I was right, you are. Who's the engine? A friend of mine. We're not outlaws. What are you wearing that mask for? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put both my guns on the table over there. You do the same with your shotgun. Then we'll both be even. How about it? I never saw one of Trig Coleman gunslicks do a thing like that. This is a trick. I've never heard of Trig Coleman. Well, will you match my play? You have nothing to lose. Well, I... Maybe you are in the square. I'll... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice that was a wheelchair you're in. That's all right. I had an accident. My legs won't work. If I get around all right this way... I see. Is Dr. Moffat your father? No, Doc's just... Say, what about that letter? Here. It had to be opened because the man who wrote it never had a chance to mail it. Hey, let me see. Gee, it's from Uncle Ben, all right. But Doc's on his way out there, so he'll see him before... Uh, what's your name, son? Jimmy. Jimmy Burke. And Uncle Ben is... Oh, he's not my real uncle. I just call him that because he's Doc Moffat's brother. My pa was killed last year, and I had an accident. So Doc Moffat and Uncle Ben adopted me. Doc's awful smart. He says if this old mining claim of pa's turns out, we'll have enough money for me to go back east and have an operation that'll fit... Uncle Ben says here that claim's not so good. I, I'm afraid it's worse than that, Jimmy. What, what do you mean? Your Uncle Ben is dead. We found him on a trail near Medicine Butte. He was killed by Apaches. Oh, Uncle Ben's dead? I'm sorry, Jimmy. Doc, Doc was afraid of Trig Coleman. He, he went out there after Uncle Ben, but, but easy, now I... Easy, easy, <laughs> steady, son, steady. 
Tell me, why did your Uncle Ben go over into the Medicine Butte country? And why did the doctor follow him? Well, uh, I guess you could say it started about a week ago. Doc's busy out calling on sick folks most of the time, and Uncle Ben used to sit right here and tell me stories. They were good stories about, about how he used to fight engines up in Colorado. Yes, sir, he is. I tell you, Jimmy, them Arapahoes used to be mighty fierce. Mighty tricky, too. Golly, Uncle Ben. Did you have many fights with them? More than I can give her count, son. I mind one time I was guiding some trappers up the Gunnison River. We was ambushed. Ambushed? Gee. Well, uh, it was like this. I, uh, uh, shucks, I wish I had some rocks here. I could string them out on the floor and show you just how it happened. Yeah, I... Well, I know where there's some rocks, Uncle Ben. Yeah. Pause or samples. Over there in the bottom door of the dresser. Uh, just a thing. I'll get them. Uh, these will work fine. Uh, I'll build them up just like that gold. She's called her at it. Uh, oh, now, look. Uh, Uncle Ben showed me how he's ambushed by engines up in Colorado. Uh, just one of the times, Jimmy. Well, if you'd really been through all the... Where'd the rocks come from? The old ore samples Pa used to have. Oh, yes. I remember your father talking about samples. Let me see. Ben, did you have these, I said? I didn't need that. I've been prospecting long enough to know real color when I see it. Jimmy's pa could have saved himself trouble of looking these back. I'm not so sure. Uh, nothing but scrub rock. You must have had him wrapped up in twine. Look at the little pieces of string. That's exactly what I'm looking at. Where was this mine? Over towards Medicine Butte someplace. <laughs> What's the difference? It's low-grade scrub ore. I don't know. I've been mining close on to 40 years. Jimmy, your father left a map. Where is it? In the dresser drawer, I guess. Why, Doc? Ah, uh, jumping to your hush of it. There's nobody more ignorant about mining than the sawbones. Even if he is my own brother. Ain't I told you a thousand times that Jimmy's part yes, didn't... Here's your map. He's got the mine marked. It's in a valley just below Medicine Butte. Ben, you're going over there. Stake it out and file the claim in Jimmy's hand. Ah, uh, you look, or I tell you there's no gold there. Maybe not gold, but hurry up. Get out in the barn and saddle your mule. You're heading for Medicine Butte today. Oh, golly. Doc, do you think maybe Pa really did find something? I don't know for sure, Jimmy. This is just a hunch of mine. But for your sake, son, I hope I'm right. Ben did a lot of explaining, but Doc insisted, so he left that night. I see. And when did Doc follow your Uncle Ben? Well, not till the next day. That's when Trig Coleman and his gang moved in. Moved in? Yeah. You see, I was in here in the house all alone, and Doc was out making calls. All at once, Trig Coleman and Lefty walked right in without knocking. They found the map, and when I started to yell, Trig hit me. So Trig Coleman hit you, huh? Not so hard, I didn't wake up for almost an hour. You say he and the other outlaw found the map? Sure they did. When Doc came home and found out what had happened, he's so mad he could hardly talk. I well, don't blame him. Then he left to trail your Uncle Ben. That's right. No, I don't know what'll happen. If Doc finds Trig and Lefty, it'll be two to one. I can take care of myself here, but I can't help Doc. Don't, uh, don't worry about that, Jimmy. Tonto and I will tell Doc you're getting along all right. You? You, you mean you and the engine are going to... God, you're the funniest outlaws I've ever seen. I don't think Trig Coleman and Lefty will think we're funny. We can find them. Tonto, we're heading back for Medicine Butte. Uh, adios, Jimmy. Goodbye, mister. I hope you... Go on. Gee, maybe I've just been sitting here dreaming... And they weren't real. Maybe I just imagined I've been talking to them. Oh, get up, scout. Oh, golly. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Although the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode west toward Medicine Butte with all possible speed, they had no way of knowing that Dr. Moffat had already reached his destination. It was late afternoon when he pulled his horse to a halt in the valley below the towering natural fortress of the Apaches. Oh, oh, oh. As I remember that map, this is about the place where... Steady now. Might as well get off and scout around. 
I can't see any sign. Yes, there is. A little lean-to over near the base of that cliff. Maybe Ben's camping there. Ben! Oh, Ben! You can stop yelling what, at what? that shack, Doc. It's empty. Trig Coleman! <laughs> Don't think you're the only gent who can leave Merrittville, do you, Doc? Coleman, you filthy scum, I ought to... Why, you... Listen, Pill Roller. You sent your brother out here to stake a claim. You wouldn't have done that unless... Where's the real claim? The gold claim. I don't know anything about a gold claim. You're lying. Why, I ought to... Try to persuade him, Trig. Maybe I can jog the old coot's memory. <laughs> All right, Lefty. Welcome over. <laughs> This is where we buried Jimmy's uncle, Tonto. Uh, I have no idea where the mine is located, Stanley, big fella. This is as good a place as any to start looking for sign. Uh, that's right. The ground hits the horses here. I'll take one side of the butte, you work along the other. We'll meet back here in about an hour. Ah, uh, me do it. Where is it? Start talking, you or a... Twisting wet rawhide around my arms may give you yellow buzzards some satisfaction, but it can't make me tell something I don't know. Oh, are you Trig, little... I've got an idea. Yeah? Let's take the old goat over to that empty mine. The real shaft must be somewhere nearby, and he might tell All us... All right. There's nothing to lose. <coughs> Get on your feet, Grandpa. We're going for a walk. Yeah, Trig. Yeah. All right, Sawbones. We're giving you another chance. Where's the gold mine from here? I don't know. This is a place where you had it marked on a map, but it's a fake. And you know where the other one is because your brother ain't here. He must have found it. I hope he found something besides a couple of snakes like you two. You dirty little Sawbones. I'm going to... What? what was that? I don't know. Sounded like something hit that tree over there. I'll see when... No wonder... Engine trick! Apaches! Got him! Got him down before it's too late! Redskins, I'm glad of it. They're not crippled kids, Coleman, so you haven't got a chance. None of us have. Apache, capture Whitefellers. Yes, Tato. There must have been at least a hundred braves in that party. Uh. We're lucky we didn't arrive here a few minutes sooner. Apache half camp top of bluff. Take prisoners up there. You think them fellows we searched for? I'm sure of it. The elderly man looks something like the man we buried. It must be Dr. Moffat. The other two are probably Trig Coleman and Lefty. First time me see Apache take prisoners. Yes, I know. They generally take scalps and leave dead men behind. There must be some reason for... Let's take a look at that mine, fellow. Ah, This gold mine fellas try to find? I suppose so. Although Jimmy's Uncle Ben said there was no gold here. He was an old prospector. He couldn't have been fooled by... Wait here, Tonto. I'm going to look in the shaft. Ah. Only a few feet deep. Nothing there except loose rocks. Here's a piece. Ah. That not look like gold ore. It isn't. I can't think of any reason why Dr. Moffat would send his brother out here to stake a claim unless he... Wait a minute. Me not savvy. This is ore. A kind of ore. There's no time to think about it now. We've got to get back to the horses and find a trail to the top of Medicine Butte. Go on. Apache camp atop Medicine Butte, flames of the ceremonial fire threw their weird light on a wild and frenzied scene. The measured beat of tom-toms became faster and faster as hundreds of half-naked savages circled the fire in a dance of death. Hiroma, the medicine man, urged them on by pointing to the bound figures of the three prisoners who lay on the ground before him. Suddenly, Chief Red Fox signaled for the dance to stop. Moa! 
Manoa! Oh, mighty warriors of the Apache, we dance tonight to honor the great fire god. The fire god who speaks to us through the lips of Pyroma. It is good that we honor fire god. It is good that we pay him homage by sacrifice. The sacrifice of blood. For only by the death of these three white devils Will the god of fire be pleased? No, no. Please don't kill us. Please don't. Shut up, Coleman. The least thing you can do is die like a white man. Even if you didn't live like one. But first, I Iroma again proves that the fire god is a friend of the Apache. No, 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 no. Bring the magic robe and the sacred moccasin. <laughs> Crouching in the shadows at the edge of the camp and beyond the circle of firelight, the Lone Ranger and Tonto watched the scene before them. Medicine man make big talk. Let him kill prisoner. Burn him. Looks that way, Tonto. I don't know how we can save them. Our guns wouldn't be any match for hundreds of Apaches. Two of those fellas crooks. Maybe better them die. No human being deserves to be burned alive. Kimasami, look. Medicine man put on white coat. Him go to walk in fire. That's one medicine man's trick I've never seen before. Him walk through fire. You see? Ah, oh, that plenty big magic. Me not savvy. There, there must be some reason for it. Oh, there is. And I think I know the answer. Maybe there's time to save the lives of Dr. Moffat and those two. I do not know what you mean. I'll explain it later. Go over to the horses, Tonto. Our camp gear is strapped back of the saddles. Uh, bring one of our blankets, a white one. Uh, Hurry. Let me bring it. Here, here, here. Here, blanket, Kimo Sabi. Good. Now help me tear off two pieces. Uh, uh, so that yeah. when we wad them up, they'll look like moccasins. Uh, <laughs> look, medicine man, take off coat now. You see him? Yes. I've been hoping he'd do that. He doesn't want any of those Apache braves to examine his magic coat too closely. Him take coat back to Tipe. That's our chance. Me not savvy. Take off your shirt, Tonto. Uh, Put some paint uh, on your face. In uh, this light, you'll uh, pass for an Apache brave. Uh, now, sneak around uh, to the other side of the camp. Uh, the medicine man asks for his magic coat again. You bring him this blanket. Uh, but what you do, Kimasabi? I am going out there and try to talk faster than Pyroma. Hurry, Tonto. There's no time to lose. Uh, hurry. I bring a message. Another white devil, and he wears a mask. Put him with the others. Manoa! Manoa! Who speaks to Chief Red Fox? The real fire god, who is angry and speaks through my mask. He is angry because the Apache listens to the false words of Pyroma. He lies. Kill the white devil who dares to... His magic coat will no longer keep him safe from the flames. He lies. I have proved my medicine. Then prove it again. White man and mask is fool. Prove it, Pyroma. It shall be done. My robe, the magic robe. <laughs> Me bring coat. Now, I shall prove again Just that... a minute. <clears throat> Let's see if the robe will burn. I'll throw it into the fire. Pyroma has no fear. His medicine is strong. Is that so? Look at your robe and your moccasins. They burn. Fire consumes them. Oh, oh it cannot be. You believe your eyes, don't you, Chief Red Fox? Uh, oh, no. no. Fire almost medicine is gone. The fire god burns his robe and his moccasins. Man with mask speaks truth. There is but one way to appease the god of fire. Release these prisoners. Then fire god no longer angry with Apache. I promise you he won't be angry. Uh, we study at Jabonga. 
Jackson. I, I don't know who you are, but thank heaven you're here. We owe our lives yeah. to you. You sure fooled the Reds. Shut up, you. Start walking to the edge of the mesa. Don't run. Just keep walking. <laughs> Yes, uh, it was really a close shave. I thought we were goners. Never figured we'd be free like this again. You won't be free long. You and Craig Coleman are going to jail. What? Well, listen, you can't Stop send that a... knife. Well, no, you won't. You. Oh. No, Mask down. Who can get away hey, with you, that? Toto. Uh, oh. uh, might as well tie them up, Toto. We'll take them to the shack, then I'll ride into town and bring out a sheriff. Uh, me tie them up. I don't mean to seem curious, mister, but who are you? You know these two armies are crooked, yet you save our lives. Who I am isn't important, Dr. Moffat. Not nearly as important as the money you tried to get for Jimmy's operation. Oh, you mean the mine. I never did get a chance I'm to... sure your guess was right. The medicine man proved it. Chrysolite. Isn't that what the mine is? You're right, Doctor. That's what it is. Chrysolite. Chrysolite ore. Pure asbestos. It's a shame little Jimmy's paw couldn't have lived to know that an asbestos mine is almost as good as gold. Your... Brother is dead, Doctor. He was killed by the Apaches. Toto and I buried him. We found a letter addressed to you. And Jimmy told us the story. I'm sorry about Ben. But I'm glad for Jimmy. So am I. Toto will wait here with you, Doctor. I'll send out a sheriff to take care of Coleman and Lefty. Adios. Wait. Wait a minute. I want to say... Well, he's gone. He wears a mask. But he can't be an outlaw. Toto, can you tell me who he is? Uh, <laughs> him, Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.